Well, there certainly is no doubt that right now we are going through a very difficult part of our nation's history. Amid all of that today, however, much of our country did pause to reflect on one of our darkest moments. On this night, 19 years ago, Americans went to bed changed forever by the 9-11 attacks. Tonight in New York City, the tribute in light shining once again where the Twin Towers stood. Here's a live look. This is a sign of resiliency after this annual tradition was almost canceled because of COVID-19. Even after nearly two decades, September 11th is still a day so many of us will never forget. For some, the memories are very vivid, and that happens to include a now retired Indianapolis air traffic controller. Alan Carter spoke with him today. For most everyone, this day 19 years ago is seared into memories. That is a moment in time that is entrenched in our being, and I think it's there forever. Kevin Brown wasn't supposed to work on September 11th. That was until his phone rang. And he kept calling, he kept calling. I think the first time I, did, I just didn't ignore it. And finally I said, what do you want? And he's like, turn on the TV. And he hung up. An air traffic controller at Indianapolis International Airport, the gravity of what was happening sank in as he was getting ready to rush in. I started getting dressed and my wife came in and she was just screaming and the second airplane had flown in to the tower. There are so many people who rose to the occasion in the midst of tragedy. We think about the firefighters and police officers, deservedly so, but the men and women responsible for the safety of our skies and hundreds of thousands of lives had to step up as well. As orders came in to land every plane, Indianapolis was one of the busiest spots. You know, it's, it's where everybody happened to be at the time, and here they come. The airspace was pandemonium. There were airplanes where there shouldn't be airplanes. There were airplanes going directions they shouldn't be going. There were airplanes at altitudes there shouldn't be. Brown remembers telling reluctant pilots to land now. So you had pilots are like, look, I'm a transcontinental flight. I cannot land at Indianapolis. I'm going to be overweight. I can't land there. And I'm like, well, you better find the fuel dump button, Captain, because you're coming to Indianapolis. It's a matter of national security. If you do not comply, you will be intercepted by fighter aircraft. It's hard to state the task in front of them, landing an overwhelming number of planes with lives on board, making space where there was none. As far as you could see in every direction of the airport, there were airplanes. And it was like somebody took a bucket of them and just dumped them. Across the nation that day, air traffic controllers safely landed nearly 5,000 planes in under two hours. And it's not just me, it's thousands of air traffic controllers that were on duty. We knew what our job was. It was game time and we have to make this shot. We're only gonna get one chance at it. 